Hey there, are you looking for the help to freeze the column headers in Excel? If yes, then the video is for you. In this video, I'm going to make your life easier if you use to deal with large sets of data in Microsoft Excel. So watch this video till the end to learn the easiest way to freeze the column headers. Hello everyone, welcome back to this Microsoft Excel tutorial journey with me on my Knowledge Factor YouTube channel. This is session number 105 and uh, we are going to learn new methods to uh, handle the large sets of data in Microsoft Excel. Uh, welcome to the next section in the learning journey of Microsoft Excel with me. Uh, during this section, we are going to talk about how to streamline your efforts and become more efficient as you are working with large sets of data within Excel. We have talked about all sorts of tools that we have in Excel as we work with lists like uh, you know, sorting, filtering, uh, pivot tables, calculations and so on. Now I want to introduce you to some features that uh, are going to make your life easier or even easier as you work with uh, these other tools that we are going to discuss. So the first one, this is called freeze panes. Now, uh, we have actually seen this but uh, very indirectly, just kind of happened as a result of another feature and I didn't really talk about it but now I want to show off this freeze panes feature and how it's going to help you maintain larger lists. So take a look up in front of you. I've got our example file Excel 1 or 2 exercises and I'm currently on the employee records worksheet. Now we have got a list here. I have got some column headers up at the top. We talked about how important those column headers are because they help you and your co-workers access this list, right? They identify what goes into the list. But here's the problem. The column headers show up at the top of the list, which means if I scroll down to get the bottom of the list or to get to a specific record, I lose those column headers. They go right off the top of the screen, right? So now what do I do? while I'm doing here uh, entering the record right and uh, let's say I, I, I have to enter it and I, I just go to the column D now what do I do while uh, let's say if I have to enter a record here let's say on column number D uh, it's like wait a minute what column that we should be putting in here right like I scroll back to the top and see the, okay it's department so I again I scroll back down and I start entering my data here. Now I get here and uh, say oh, what what these numbers are, right? I, I, I don't know what these numbers are. So I'll just go back again at the top and see oh it's a phone extension. Again I go to the down of the cell and just put that number. Right? So lot of back and forth, right? Trying to determine what I should be putting in these columns. Well, to fix this problem we are going to freeze the column headers in place that way as you scroll up and down they stay there so take a look and this is super easy so all I'm going to do is click on the column A row 2 so I'm inside cell A2 okay you can see here it's A2 and the reason why I click this is now when I go to the freeze panes it will freeze everything up above the current cell I have selected I repeat the reason why I click there is because when I go to the freeze the panes option it will freeze everything up above the current cell I have selected so I am in A2 and my headers are right above it I am now going to go up to my view tab at the top of my screen and under the view inside of view I have a section called window and inside a window I'm going to go to the freeze panes and I'm going to freeze the panes so now if I scroll up and down those headers stay at the top look at that row 1 is always there frozen and spot very nice right I don't put my finger on the screen anymore and scroll up and down uh, and then try to remember what column I meant. They, they are always there no matter how much I scroll up and down. Freeze the panes will work for you. I have now freezed or frozen the first row of the header at the top of my screen and it's really simple. Just to recap, 
click on A2, go up to the view section, under the window go to the freeze panes and click on the freeze panes. If you decide you are tired of it and you don't need it anymore, you can always come back here and just click on unfreeze panes, right? You can always reverse it. And if you want it again to freeze it, you can again click on the freeze panes. So try this out. Jump into the exercise file, go to the employee records and freeze the headers so that when you scroll up and down, they are always there. So that's all for today. Thank you for watching this tutorial. And as always say, if you really liked it and enjoying this journey, then please do like, share and subscribe my channel. And also press the bell icon to get the latest content update on this channel. All right, then we'll meet up in the next session. In case you have any questions, any concerns, then do let me know in the comment section of this video. So see you in the next session. Till then, stay safe, have a great life and take very good care of yourself.